Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss matrix representation of a vector, its components, and multiplication of vector by a matrix. Now, first of all, we'll discuss vectors on coordinate plane. We know that a vector is a quantity which has both magnitude or length and direction. It is represented as directed segments such as vector AB. A vector on the coordinate plane can be described in component form or in terms of horizontal and vertical components where horizontal component is the x coordinate or the x component and the vertical component is the y coordinate or the y component. If we are given vector AB as 2, 3, that is the ordered pair 2, 3 on a coordinate plane, then we will represent vector AB as directed line which starts from origin that is the ordered pair 0, 0 and ends at the ordered pair 2, 3. We say that vector 2, 3 has initial point as the ordered pair 0, 0 and terminal point as the ordered pair 2, 3. Now let us discuss matrix representation of vectors. A vector can be represented either in column matrix or in row matrix. So we can say that a matrix with dimension 1 cross 2 or 2 cross 1 can be used to represent a vector. So vector 2, 3 can be written in column matrix form as a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 2, 3. Similarly, vector 2, 3 can be written in row matrix form as The 1 by 2 matrix containing elements 2, 3. Mostly we write it in column matrix form. So vector 2, 3 is written as a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 2, 3 where 2 is the x component and 3 represents y component. And now we will see how to determine component form of a vector if vector A is given in the form of 2 by 1 matrix containing elements minus 3, 2 and Vector B 
is given as a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5, 4. Then we need to express vector AB in component form and also we shall graph vector AB. Now X and Y components of vector AB are found by finding B minus A. So B minus A is equal to B that is the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5, 4 minus A that is a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements minus 3, 2 and this is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5 minus of minus 3 4 minus 2 which is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5 minus of minus 3 is 5 plus 3 that is 8 4 minus 2 is 2 So B minus A is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 8, 2 or we can write it as vector AB which is given by B minus A is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 8, 2 where 8 is the X component and 2 is the Y component. So, its component vector form is the ordered pair 8, 2. So, we graph vector AB which is given by the ordered pair 8, 2. It will start from the initial point that is the ordered pair 0, 0 and will be extended to the point with the coordinates 8, 2 which is the terminal point and we show the direction sign by this arrow. Now we shall discuss how to multiply a vector with a matrix. We have discussed vectors on coordinate plane having two components. Now vectors can also be three dimensional. That is having three components. And its matrix will have dimension 3 cross 1 or 1 cross 3. We know that we can multiply two matrices A and B if and only if the number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix B. Now suppose we have matrix A of order 2 cross 3 and we want to multiply it with a vector then the vector must have 3 rows in its column representation. It means vector will be 3 dimensional that is it will have 3 components now let us take an example. Suppose we have matrix A which is given by a 2 by 3 matrix containing elements in the first row as 1, 2, 3 and elements in the second row as 4, 5, 6. And if we want to find the product AB where B is a vector 
and number of rows in vector B is 3 and the order of this vector matrix is 3 cross 1. We know that we can multiply two matrices A and B if and only if the number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix B. Here we need to find the product AB and order of matrix A is 2 cross 3 and order of matrix B is 3 cross 1 and here we should note that number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix B. So we say that the product AB is defined and our resultant matrix will be of order 2 cross 1. So here we have a 2 by 1 matrix containing element in the first row as to obtain element in row 1 in the resultant matrix we multiply elements of row 1 in matrix A with the corresponding elements of this column matrix that is matrix B and we have 1 into 1 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 1 to obtain element in the second row of the resultant matrix we multiply elements in row 2 of matrix A with the corresponding elements of column 1 in matrix B and we'll add the product and therefore we get 4 into 1 plus 5 into 0 plus 6 into 1 and this is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing element in the first row as 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 2 into 0 is 0 plus 3 into 1 is 3 and element in the second row as 4 into 1 is 4, plus 5 into 0 is 0, plus 6 into 1 is 6. And this is equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 1 plus 0 plus 3, that is 4, 4 plus 0 plus 6, that is 10. So product AB will be equal to a 2 by 1 matrix containing elements as 4, 10. So, we get a new vector that is the ordered pair 4, 10 having two components. Thus, in this session we have learned matrix representation of a vector, its components and multiplication of vector by a matrix. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.